Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Bryant. Today I've got a little treat for you. Today is a follow-up to my last video where I unboxed this really cheap watch that I picked up from Wish.com. So this is supposedly a Seiko Specifically, a Seiko 5 Sport automatic 22 joules, 100 meter of water resistance. If you saw my last video, you know that this is in fact quartz and not automatic. There are no joules in this watch whatsoever. And that it doesn't really hold time that well. I had to take the hands off of this watch just to get the date to flip over at midnight, and as you will be able to see here, it still doesn't do it properly. It now ticks over at like one in the morning instead of midnight. So there we're going at noon. You see the day has finally gotten over, and as we're headed towards midnight, Still not all the way over. There we go. Almost one o'clock in the morning is when that flipped over. Well, my friend Brian saw this video and said, hey, you know what? I've got some Seiko 5s that are sitting in my watch collection. Let me send those to you so you can show your viewers the differences. And that's what we have here. We have two Seiko 5s that are probably 15 years old. I'm not 100% sure. But right off the bat, you can see that there's a huge difference in the size of the dials. You can see that both of these watches have a slight tick to their second hands, which this is trying to emulate, and it doesn't do a bad job, I don't think. But the hands are completely different across the board here. This has got a sweeping, or an attempted to be sweeping second hand with the red tip, while these have just straight lined, or just straight second hands with little circle balances on the end. Both of these are genuine automatic watches, as you can see here. You've got your automatic winding. This one is a. And look at the model number here, and I don't know where it would be because I've never can't say that I've never owned a Seiko. I have a Seiko Kinetic in my watch collection, but it's down here. It is a model, a model number 7S26 0480. But as you can see, fully automatic. I'm not sure if you can wind this one but it would be if you could that would be a miserable job because of the small crown there this one is seven s two six dash zero one victor zero also automatic both of them sporting different style bracelets, but both of them automatic and automatically winding. So that's some of the big differences between these two. You can see here, if I move the hands out of the way, you can see the Seiko and the Five are actually raised up, which, looking at these other watches, You can kind of see there as well, they're raised up. However, the difference being on the fake one, it's kind of thicker, if that makes sense. The font is much thicker and not as clear as it is on the other watches. 
but that's what you get for spending four dollars on wish.com I just wanted to highlight some of the big differences that I saw between a fake Seiko 5 and the real ones and I wanted to thank my friend Brian for shipping these down to me to show you guys if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section down below and if you like this video please give it a like and if you like the channel please subscribe those things really help me understand what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong so let me know either way and I appreciate you guys watching have a great day